This is White Point Beach on Nova Scotia's South Shore and with me is Alan Crosby, the executive chef at the White Point Beach Resort and he's going to show me how to cook the house speciality which I can see Alan is something to do with salmon but what is it exactly? Well exactly what it is is we're going to do some plank salmon today. Um, we go through about 4,000 pounds of salmon every year here at White Point uh, and this is the favorite of all of our guests. Mm. So we've got a little uh, beautiful fresh side of Atlantic salmon uh, nailed to a piece of uh, fresh maple okay um, and we've got some nails interspersed along there and all we're gonna do is we're gonna wire it up so that it doesn't fall for obvious reasons we want to keep this from falling into the fire while it's cooking so any particular kind of wire that we no, use no, anything anything that won't burst into flames okay uh, is <laughs> what you're looking for here and you just got to make sure it's it's nice and tight so that, that fish doesn't slide down underneath sure and we're all ready to go lovely stuff what's next well what's next so we're going to brush it up with a little uh, good Nova Scotia maple syrup. Ah, uh, maple on maple then. Maple on maple, that's right. And this is going to do two things for us. It's going to give us a little extra flavor. Mm. And we'll also hold our spice mixture that we're going to sprinkle on there as well too. And then one of my favorite ingredients, we're going to sprinkle it with a little bit of Montreal steak spice. Lovely. And this is a nice mixture, pepper, garlic, and coarse salt. So this seems pretty straightforward. It is. It's very simple. It's very traditional cooking method. Uh, you know, we got a piece of beautiful fish seasoned up, ready to go on an open fire. So this is something uh, we could do back home on the barbecues of Britain then? Absolutely. Uh, you don't have to be by the sea in an open fire. You can do this on your barbecue at home. Obviously, you're going to want a slightly smaller piece of wood. <laughs> um, you know, a cedar shingle works great. Salmon on it, sprinkle it up or season it up. In your barbecue, close the lid and off you go. So how long will it take? It's going to take about half an hour, but it depends on how hot your fire is and how big your fish is. Lovely stuff. Okay then, let's head to the fire. All right. So we're going to go into the fire now, stand them upright. We're going to put the fat end down at the bottom because it's going to take a little bit longer to cook. And we're just going to watch out and make sure that wood doesn't catch on fire on you. Good stuff. Let's do it. Okay. Stand them upright into the flames with the fat end down and just prop it up with a nice little piece of uh, alder wood there and leave it to cook and just keep an eye that your wood doesn't catch on fire. Okay, Alan, it's been on the fire and it's looking pretty good. Well, it is. It looks great. Uh, you can see it got away from us a little <laughs> bit here on some corners, but you know, <laughs> that's one of the idiosyncrasies of cooking over an open fire. But, you know, the, the flame is what gives it good, good flavor. What now then? Well, now we're going to eat. Okay, well, you've provided the fish. Here are a couple of glasses of wine that oh, I prepared earlier for my personal cellar that I've brought over. <laughs> Let's tuck in. So with a fish, a fire and a fantastic chef and these beautiful surroundings here at White Point, it doesn't get much better than this. Cheers. Cheers. Fantastic. Mm. That is wonderful. I'm going in for more.